27. Assuming that no equilibria other than dissolution are involved, calculate the concentration of ions in a saturated solution of each of the following, and then see Appendix J for the solubility products, which is exactly what I did. We want to know what the concentration of the ions are in silver sulfate, Ag2SO4. So I had to go in the back of a textbook to find out what that KSP value is for silver sulfate, 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth, right? And that's what they're talking about for solubility product, SP, solubility product. Now, anytime that we have a KSP, we know that this compound is going to start as a solid and dissolve, undergo dissolution, break down into its ions. So that's all we have to write here for the balanced equation. So we have Ag2SO4. That's going to start off as a solid. And then double arrow because we're talking about equilibrium. And it has to break down into its two ions. I notice that I have SO4. We've been seeing that polyatomic time and time again. So the break has to be between the silver and the sulfate. So I have Ag plus SO4. Now we just need charges in the upper right-hand corner. You could do this a couple of different ways. Um, for these, it's easier to just memorize the charges, right? Sulfate is always going to be a negative two charge. And silver, even though it's a transition metal, will always be a plus one. It only has that one charge. Now I'm just going to balance it. I do see that I have two silvers, so I have to put a two in front of the two AG. But then I have one SO4, one SO4. So we're good there. These are charges, so they will be aqueous. And we're good with the balanced equation. Now, I'm just going to center this, but I'm going to use this equation to write out our general KSP equation, right? And for any KSP, it just equals the concentration of the products raised to their coefficients. So only these two are going in the KSP equation. Remember, no solids allowed ever in any K value. So I have KSP equals the concentration of the AG plus times the concentration of the SO4 2 minus the sulfate. Now we just have to make sure we have to raise them to their coefficients. So there was a 2 in front of the AG, but there was no number in front of the sulfate. That means that there was one of them. But since there was two in front of the AG, I take that AG and I square it. Here I could just raise it to the first, but that would be the same as just not writing it. So now KSP, that was the back of the chapter, 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth. But I don't know what the concentrations of the silver and the sulfate, but I can use my variables. We're just going to use ratios here. I go back to my balanced equation and I say, okay, I don't know what the concentration of the Ag pluses, so I'm going to label it as x, but you're just going to drop the coefficient with it. So this would be 2x. Then this one, I'm going to label it as x because it's just a ratio. And in this case, it would be 1x, but 1 times x is the same as x. And these are your new numbers that are going into your KSP expression. So Ag is going to be 2x, and the SO4 is going to be x. So now let's see, I have 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth equals, I have 2x, that's squared, times my x. Let's work with the 2x squared first. Remember, 2x squared is just timesing two of the same thing. So 2 times 2 is 4 x times x is x squared. So 2x squared is the same as 4x squared. Combine another x value, right? And you have x cubed. So 1.2 times 10 to the negative fifth equals 4x cubed. Now we're just solving. Divide by 4 on both sides. Okay, that cancels that out. And maybe I will put my x value now over here. So let's see, 
I'm sent to the negative fifth divided by four. I get three times 10 to the negative sixth equals x cubed. So now just do the inverse, right? The inverse of cubing something is taking the cube root. So you can take the cube root on both sides, but I just like to do it in terms of inverses. You could always just raise the exponent to the inverse number. So three is really three over one. So if I just raise this to the one over three, which is what the cube root is, I will cancel out that and you'll just get like the x. So on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna cube root it, aka raise it to the one third, and then the three will cancel out. And now we're left with x equals, maybe I'll just move this a little over. Oh boy. Let's try to grab everything. There we go. Okay. So this value raised to the one third. I get 1.4 if we're keeping it with two sig figs. 1.4 times 10 to the negative second. And that's molarity because we're dealing with concentrations. But now we want the concentrations of the individual ions. So there was two of them, Ag plus and SO4. So Ag plus and SO4, two minus. Ag plus was two X and SO4 was just the X value. So if SO4 was just that X value, it's literally just that number. So this would be 1.4 times 10 to the negative second molarity. But now for the AG, you just have to insert that 1.4 times 10 to the negative second and times it by two. So I'll just do that. So basically it would be 2.8, 2.8 times 10 to the negative second. And it makes sense. It's a two to one ratio. And now we're done. So these are your two answers. Whoa, what happened there? Anyway, that's good enough. And there you go for that one. Okay. So let me know in the comments. Did this help you out? Did this not? Love to hear back from you. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and keep studying hard, okay? Let's keep doing more problems and I'll see you in later lessons. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you so much for that. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.